how about a little bit of Disney's Animal Kingdom? Look at that beautiful entry gate sign. Let's go to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna get a parking spot like this again. Butterfly 122, I'm parked right there. I won't have to even look for my freaking car when I leave. I'll never get a spot like that again. That was great. I don't even think I said sub YouTube yet. So sub YouTube. So, got the tram coming up here. I'm gonna walk it because, I don't know, I guess I haven't walked enough <laughs> during my stay down here. So, I got a few things I'm gonna do here at Animal Kingdom. They do have uh, some Earth Day stuff going on, some uh, food and things like that that I am going to try to get. Uh, that's really the only game plan I have. So, We'll go, we'll go see what we can do. Have a uh, amazing Animal Kingdom kind of day. Let's go do this. All right, made it through the gates. We are in and heading to the Tree of Life. Um, wait times don't look too bad. They look pretty moderate, decent, besides Pandora, because Pandora is always a ridiculous wait time. Here we are, the tree of life. Anybody else that comes here feel like the little woody path, wood, woodsy, woods, forest path that you go through to get to the tree of life is kind of like their Main Street USA to a degree? I don't know, just thought about it. Okay, so I'm thinking the first thing I'm going to do is head on over to Dino Land USA just like every other person is doing they're going over and getting some last uh, looks at the area as its time is on the chopping block Dino Land USA will no longer be here I mean we still got a little bit of time but obviously it is going to not exist at some point pretty soon and of course what I mean by very soon, like they're literally filing construction permits, bringing in job trailers, and reserving space to get ready to do some major construction as this whole area will be changing. In the next five years, this will not be here, maybe sooner. So, you know, people are documenting it very well, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be gone. There's the entrance sign there as we head into I think this is like a little kid play area right here. It's called like the Boneyard or something like that. Got the Dino Bite Snacks over here, Restaurantosaurus over here. I think there's a crocodile right here. Oh, well, you can see his tail. He's, uh, he's hiding over there. You can kind of see him a little bit there, a little bit better and see him. Yeah. Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama, which already feels pretty bare right now because they got rid of the uh, the old meteor ride. I don't know why I can't think of the uh, name of it, but it's just a fence now. So that's been gone for a while. But that's yeah, crazy. This is this is going to be gone. Totally gone. And I'm not going to sit here and mope and complain and be that person about this area but uh i mean it's sad this is uh there's only one of these at all of the disney parks there's not another one so that's sad but uh there's not a lot to do here they definitely could do other stuff with this you know i'm excited to see what they come up with and they have these little games here you can play just like a uh you know a, a state fair that's kind of the theme of it here it's cool to see. 
buy your little game voucher there and you can go play any of these games. Win your prize. It's a cool idea. Now this is one of the coolest gift shops on property. I must, must say there is a lot of cool stuff in there to look at. The theming's on point in here. It's just neat, and you can look around. You can see all sorts of sorts of stuff in here. I mean, just look at it, man. Look at all the crap in here. All these little toys. If you look up there, see if I can zoom in a little bit, you can see like just all of the little dinosaur toys. Look at all this stuff. This looks like a, a like retro toy shop for just dinosaurs. It's just, it's really neat. It's really neat in here. So I am going to miss this. I know this guy right here, this little dinosaur. I think he's got a name. They put like a Santa hat on him at Christmas time. I'm actually seeing a Godzilla. If you look over here, if you look up there in that corner, there's a Godzilla up there. It's kind of hard to see even on the camera. That's definitely Godzilla. It's got to be Godzilla. Was Godzilla a dinosaur? This is usually blocked off. Like usually I can't even see this. All right, so right across from Creature Comforts is going to be, well, one of the Earth Day uh, offerings here. It's a pizza with like mushrooms and leeks and it's vegan. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. All right, this is what we're dealing with here. It's a uh, mushrooms leak, impossible meatloaf. I don't think I've ever had leak in my life. So I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Here we go. taste any leek. I don't even know if leek has a taste. This is freaking good. Wish I had some hot sauce or something. This should be permanent. This is delicious. I got done eating that absolutely delicious pizza and I got me one of these uh, spicy strawberry lemonades. These things are freaking good. Um, I think we're gonna head to the Kilimanjaro Safari. It's only a 15 minute wait, which is pretty rare for that. And see if there's any animals out. It's pretty hot out, so I doubt we're gonna see anything cool, but we'll give it a shot. You know, that might have been the best uh, safari tour I've ever been on. I actually saw hippos. You never see hippos. They're always hiding in the water. But I saw hippos. Yeah, it's definitely a good day for the uh, Kali River Rapid Ride. 35 minute wait. It's just very, very, uh, very hot. <laughs> so that's probably a good one because that's a good one to uh, get soaked on. 
Yeah, we're making our way through here. I may go through this uh, Maharaja jungle track. I don't think I've ever been through there. It's just like a little uh, animal viewing area. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go through here. You know, sometimes these little nature trails with animals are kind of slept on here at Animal Kingdom. They got a Komodo dragon. I can't wait to see that. If you look really close, you can see him. Maybe. He's just chilling. It's too hot for him. Look at this little guy. A little bit of National Geographic right here. It's a tree monitor. That's a big freaking lizard. Oh, it's so cute. It's sleeping. Oh, it's like a water buffalo, I think. Oh, that looks cute. So the ones that are on this I mean, I saw some animals. I tried to get a picture of the tiger. As soon as I went over to get a picture of it, it moved back to where I was at before. So tigers just hate me. I don't know. But yeah, it's, that's a pretty nice little relaxing stroll that you can go to and look at some animals. Making my way over here to Expedition Everest. As you can hear the screams of terror. Holy frick. Now I do not like roller coasters at all. And it would have been three years ago when me and Lug came here. We rode this. I was petrified, scared to death. Haven't rode it since. Wow. I cannot believe that I rode this. I can't believe I'm riding this. Second time ever riding. Yeah. That is intense.
Wasn't really that bad. Wasn't anything to it. Check out this lounge fly though. This attraction has some really cool merchandise. I think I have a pen for this, yeah. Look at all this stuff. Definitely probably the coolest merchandise for a ride at Animal Kingdom. Right? I think that's correct. I was trying to hold my hat. So, I'm gonna start making my way over to uh, Pandora. I haven't even went over there yet today. We'll just see what's going on. Uh, the wait times are ridiculous as always, but uh, we'll go look around and see what we can see. But I do see uh, Kevin here walking this way, so I got to get a good shot of him. And he's so tall, I don't even think his head's in the freaking shot. There he goes. So I don't know if I've ever seen the front of the Tree of Life this empty. Like, there's no one here. This usually you can't freaking get anywhere near this. so bad? But there's no one here. Look at that. Talk about a good photo opportunity right now. Never, never have I seen it this empty in the front. Wow. I think they call these the floating rocks, right? I think I called the floating rocks. Pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's go see how long the wait is for flight of passage. Well, you can see right there. It's not the worst I've ever seen. That sign says 90 minute wait. That's not actually terrible. I've seen way worse for this. I actually, for a second, thought about doing this ride just to try to test out my low light. But uh, 55 minutes you can see there, hopefully. 55 minute wait. I'm not gonna wait that long for it. Well, if this ain't just the most adorable thing. Look at that. Man. You can put it in a little, little satchel. Wow. Oh, look, they have a banshee that sits on your shoulder too. He's magnetic. Well, I think I've uh, done all I wanted to do today at Animal Kingdom. I thought about swinging in here to Rainforest Cafe and uh, just looking around the gift shop. I think that's what I'm going to do, if they let me. Obviously, I haven't been back here since uh, 2000, <laughs> so I don't remember what it looks like. Like, I don't even know if this crocodile was here back then. I do have it on an old VHS, and uh, that video is either out already or will be out. I kind of want to go in here and just look around now that I've watched it and done editing, because I want to see what this gift shop looks like, because my dad recorded the heck out of it back in 2000. Man, it looks like a rainforest cafe. Yep. Wow, look at this rainforest cafe jean jacket see that wow i'll tell you what when i was a little kid this place was lit like everybody wanted to go to rainforest cafes uh the hype's kind of died down over the years people kind of say it's obnoxious because of the rainstorms and the gorillas going crazy but it's nostalgic to uh me i guess now with that being said, I probably will never eat here again because they have no very good vegan options. It's just a classic logo and everything to see. I always love the iguana, which I think his name is Iggy, but I might be wrong about that. Always made me think of Max. I think this is cool merchandise to wear now, actually. Oh, okay. Here she is. I was trying to find this tree. Don't know her name. Tracy Tree. It literally says it right above her. Tracy Tree. 
Yep. Tracy Tree. You can hear all those relays clicking, man. Just going crazy. Also, something cool that I noticed on these uh, benches here heading back to my vehicle. You see, guys, see that? They have the dragon still on these benches. That's crazy. I think it's going to do it here from DAC, <laughs> Disney Animal Kingdom, abbreviation DAC. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we rode a few things and uh, walked around. I think I walked the entire park. Just didn't ride a ton of stuff. Just kind of enjoyed it. That pizza was so good. But uh, yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Until next time. Mm -hmm.